Hey guys, kumusta? It's Mary. So, welcome to episode 2 of Getting Abby to Graduate Med School. Like, I'm still not sure of what to call this LP. Yeah, it's already an LP. Um, I adjusted also the game time speed a little more closer to the original time. I think the default is at 25 and I adjusted it to 30, so it made things speed up faster. And it somehow brought us forward in time to Saturday when we laugh off. I think it was a Tuesday before. So yeah, it's a big shift. Oh my god, I hate the camera so much. But what I was trying to say is that it somehow brought us forward in time to Saturday when we left off at Tuesday. But this is good news because I do have plans for her, which is like to build up her skill, which I cannot exactly do during weekdays because she's always so tired. Because if you guys remember, it's 8 to 8. It's a 12-hour workday every day and here's what she needs to do so she needs to reach level five of the logic skill and also writing skill and level three of handiness which brings us to our very first change in this house because if you guys remember there's like a robotics thing right here and i changed it into a handiness table and then i've also paid our debts because i realized that it was so unnecessary i didn't need all that money but maybe i would get a loan longer and longer run maybe when i'm close when she is close to graduating is what i mean to say i think i read that they're going to be updating this mod and they're actually going to be adding like a hospital for it which i'm so excited about so yeah that's it and she's actually very close about 92 percent oh my gosh i really hope she will be able to get this because after this what my next plan is is to actually get her friends and potentially some romance in her life you know what? it doesn't even have to be a romance she just needs fun oh my gosh yay so she can now collect fossil samples and she is one step closer to becoming promoted okay enough of that we are also going to go to a bar so if you would like to pack up your things that would be great we can work on our writing skill there so we are outside this bar which looks beautiful by the way and i really hope that we can meet someone interesting um also actually i've been looking at new legacy challenges to try and i have this one in particular that i'm just itching to try and someone's coming up to talk to us his name's anan oh hello you're a little cutie oh my gosh you're already pulling out your phone like you're asking for her number hi i'm gonna do maybe like a funny introduction that would be so cute and she needs this she needs a friend someone she has a connection with oh hi aren't you the delivery girl oh my god people are joining us that's so cute and it's a ladies night wait we don't actually know this person i thought she was the delivery girl because they had the same hair but no oh my gosh i'm sorry yeah just gonna give all of them introductions even the barista even if she has the dogs out for no reason and for free they're all gathered here now look at you you're so popular non just laugh and i do think that he's really nice however i cannot see our compatibility right here and also i'm letting her work on her book by the way perceive as an attractive and he's our neighbor oh all right i do think that that was really nice like she needed that she needed to make friends well maybe acquaintances right now but look look there's so many except for tom like he will never be our friend that pervert no yay level five of the writing skill so tomorrow we're gonna spend the entire day trying to do this hand in a skill thing we can do it right now but i'm afraid that our neighbors are gonna be mad at us so enough of this i'm also thinking that writing is not really working out for us so i was wondering that we can just use this solar paintings we might do writing on the side because we need it to level up and also it's fun like she gets to be a author for cute children's books about medicine so that's nice at least it's now the next day and yes the burnt egg tarts are still alive they are still whole but now since we have nothing on our fridge and i'm kind of afraid to let her cook again but still we have to meal prep also and thank gosh this is vegetarian safe because i forgot again that she's vegetarian oh my god after that though come here do a horse sculpture and after that a knife block and hopefully we can also sell them i spent ten dollars for this so how much 20 not bad right medical paper i was thinking also that maybe this is the one that's supposed to get us the writing skill i'm gonna have to check this one later on but yeah 
Yay, level two! This does make sense, because if you're a doctor, if you're gonna be a doctor, then I think you would need to have, like, precise hands. Although you gotta be careful also, because what if you're gonna saw your hand? Like, that's your asset. And I know her ancestors will be cursing her for this, for throwing this away, but this is a biohazard. No. And how is she gonna be a doctor telling her patients to eat well, to eat healthy, when in the first place, she doesn't even? That's why, against my will, she's gonna get some garden veggies dipping platter. This is everything that she made, so this is valued at 35 simoleons, and this one is for 30 simoleons each. So yeah, this is a good profit, but I still want her to do this one right after. Like, have a painting career. I need to branch out, okay? Writing is not really working out for us. Ew, my neighbors are making a mess. That's not my problem though, but I was gonna show you got. Ooh, here's my neighbor. Last episode, I saw that there's a laundry thing over here. So I, 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 I don't know why I'm even using this stuff. We don't exactly have the time to scrub and wash clothes using the basin. So I think I'm just gonna go downstairs later and wash all the clothes. So everything is chill so far, which is like a miracle to me. Well, I guess these things are kind of easier to do. I mean, we've only had about like 5 levels to do compared to the 9 levels that we needed. Or like 12 levels that we needed to do from the last time. Because I needed to achieve level 4 of everything. So yeah, this one is significantly less stressful. And I love that because I get to focus on her and the things that she needs and her mental health. Because it's also Monday tomorrow, so she's gonna be in the hell out of stress. I don't care what anyone says. That is a masterpiece and we're gonna sell it for- What? 78? <laughs> Hold on. 78? I spent 100 simoleons for this. That's alright, that's fine. It's gonna work out in the long run. Ooh, not the manga Marites, Maritessing. By the way, we call gossip mongers in the Philippines Marites, which is a name of an old lady who just likes to spread gossip and somehow it got so popularized. So yeah, they're having a gossip, which, okay, I need to be let in to the circle so that we can know the tea at all times. Hey, I know you're dressed so gorgeously and I'm just in my pajamas ever since I woke up this morning, but hi. Um, do you want me to clean up this trash? <laughs> we became so busy that we literally forgot to meal prep. So all we have is this. Girl, it's 11pm. Hurry up. You need to sleep. You have work tomorrow. In case you forgot. I was like, who are you having a wet dream about? Who even is this man? Narong. Okay, kind of weird because we literally just met him. Okay, she's hungry and I do think that she has the time to cook. So let's go find her something to eat. There's this lunch box with pasta salad. I'm just gonna make about like a family size of it so that she will not get sick of eating it. Girl, wake up. You have things to do. Shameless. Very shameless. I almost forgot this too. <laughs> How the hell did the bees find us here? They're not even biting. She'll do great. She'll do great. I know. I know. I know. Um, I'm just gonna have her work hard so that we can get to excellent. Hopefully that will be fine. It won't give us anything at all. Oh my gosh, Nan is calling us. Quick question. Rico, Aureliano, and I are planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Yeah, I think you should. I think you should go for it. I mean, it's just casual friend time. And technically, she is not attracted to him so unfortunately we have no right and even if we were attracted to him anyways we still have no right right now though she is kind of attracted to what's his name narong jump scare <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> yay a promotion so abigail has been promoted to pre-clinic clinical <laughs> <laughs> Clinical med student 3 and her next shift is of course tomorrow and then we've got to reach handedness level 5, research and debate skill level 5, and level 6 of logic skill which should be easy enough. I know she should sleep because she's tired but also I kind of want to see how compatible Narumai and her are. It seems like he's already there at the festival, but Nando isn't, so let's just go there. Oh, he isn't here. I just couldn't invite him. 
We're not that close enough. Thankfully, you're here. And dude, I am so sorry that this bitch does not find you attractive. I mean, look at how he looks at you. And I kind of want to join the pranksters. And let's get into all sorts of mischief. So, shall we? And it's raining. Why? Where'd you get that? And hey, here you are. Don't be tired. We can get $500 from this. The pranksters and jokesters are both neck and neck. <laughs> would, would you find that cute? Please laugh. Please laugh. Or I do think, oh, okay, he did not laugh, but his face is telling me it's fine. Even if his reaction was a little bit luckluster, I do think that she still finds him cute. Yay, the pranksters won! So we received a voodoo doll and some fireworks. And speaking of fireworks, the fireworks are going off too. What? Hi, Joffrey. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, unfortunately, we don't believe in voodoo. And also... <laughs> Fireworks are dangerous, so we're gonna be selling this for a thousand two hundred and ninety. This is what we came here for. We can finally pay our stupid debt. So I'm just gonna go do that one. Oh, I think I can only do it at home. All right, in that case, it is time to go home. Wait, we came here together. We should leave together. Now you wanna f the landlord. What is wrong with you? <laughs> our clothes has been in the dryer for so long now. What are you cooking? What is this? Avocado kale salad. Okay, fine. After. And didn't I say that you were going to pay your debts? So go ahead and do that. Make loan payment. Oh, hi. Athenea. Okay, maybe do not make the kale salad because um, it, your, your stuff, your work literally starts in one hour. Now you have, in ah, you have insect infestation when you're about to go to school. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna have to call the landlords for this. Excuse me. But then I have to let the landlord in. Maybe the bugs can wait until later, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to spend like $400 for this. Go downstairs. You can just eat at school, I think. Ew! How is this her life? Well, it's not like I'm not curious as to what would happen if I just let this be. What would happen? Like, would they spread? And yes, she is back, just stumping the bugs on the air, like she's Jesus or something. I know that he's gonna fumigate the entire house, so I'm probably gonna hide in the bathroom. And not you getting burnt out. No! I hate this burning out thing. Like, it's just the worst when you're doing challenges like these. Okay, take a shower and we're probably gonna take the vacation day for tomorrow if this works already because the last time i really was not able to take any breaks because it would not work for some reason business yeah take day off from medical school it finally worked abigail has taken the vacation day enjoy the day off they said you really better fix everything that is wrong in this shitty apartment Great job taking care of insect infestation. He didn't have to fumigate it this time. I guess it's because it's not that bad. But if this would really happen again, I think I'm gonna move out. It's not healthy at all. And I do think that we're making not good money, but like decent money. Oh, I remembered we had a weird dream about this guy. Ew. <laughs> Ew. And now there's an earthquake and bats. Holy fuck. Bats. 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 <laughs> At least it was not that bad. The earthquake, holy fudge. Yeah, we need to move out. At least on the next episode, yeah, we need to move out. Holy crap, you guys. We have 11 hours of the burnout and I'm really trying my best just to get it away fast. Like, you know, maybe we can finally enjoy the nature. Touch grass for once. This is like her first time being one with nature after like going to med school. Back float, maybe that will help you rest. It's working. Why the frick is it back to six hours? Should I just let her sleep at home? I think I'm gonna do that. This is the best thing to do. I think. <gasps> See, it's gone. And also, he is calling us. Hey, Abigail, I think I have. A crush on Judith Ward. You know what? She is actually really real. Um, um, maybe it's just a celebrity crush. I mean, Judith Ward is. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling jealous on behalf of her. Judith Ward? I mean, is a celebrity. So yeah, maybe he's just a fan boying uh, to us? Yeah, go for it. But that's enough 
Okay, enough. It's time to punish ourselves by working hard. Why does it bother me more? Maybe it's also time for romance on our lives. I think I think she does want to develop a relationship with Narong, which is why on the weekends we're gonna get to know him some more and maybe we can go on a date or two. Now she's just switching back and forth, back and forth. But my plan is we're gonna get logic to six today and also handedness to six today so that we can get research and debate skill to five tomorrow. And I'm sorry girl, I cannot physically go up there. But you can talk to me if you want right here. And also it's very late. Like what are you even doing here? Yay! Okay, that's enough. It's also two in the morning. And I cannot reach hand in his level skill after all today. So we're gonna try tomorrow. Okay, she's awake. This is broken. I'm just gonna hire you know what? I'm just gonna replace it. And also, yeah, I forgot about the things that we made. I sold most of it already. The others are on our inventory, which is just this mirror. Okay, <laughs> I fell down to my knees. This is what you let slip out of your fingers because you cannot tell that he's so attractive. Congrats! <laughs> Even if it's like so heartbreaking for me. Congrats! Yeah, I'm gonna be a good friend. I mean, she has no right. I have no right because this him is so freaking stupid. You know what? I'm gonna send a DM to Narong. And there's an electrical failure going on. What is broken? Like, let me check out. Oh, it's this. Let's open Twitter. Then as friends, we are gonna add Atenea. I'm gonna remove that. Narong and none i'm just gonna post about my exhausting day go experience some events to post about wow oh my god ritu is my biggest hater please go back into your house and remove the door no one wants to see you in public and she said that three times for like three days not even a cow plant wants to be around you abigail what the fuck is wrong with her anyway i'm gonna send like a funny meme to none a hi to Atenea, and also just a funny message to Narong. Wait, wait, did we just send the same joke? You have no creativity. A skeleton walks into thrifty and orders a boba tea and a mop. Oh, funny, ha ha ha. Now our food has gone bad. Oh my gosh. And we don't have any leftovers left. Love that for us. I think we need to order. Jajangmyeon is... N oh, here is a Jajangmyeon for vegan. Okay, okay, okay. And I don't know about the rent of this place because they're not asking me to pay the rent, which is weird. Like, when do I even pay the rent? Okay, so we finally got... What? Hannah's level 2? 5, I mean! And no, honey, you are not gonna sleep. There's this idiot right here. But I'm just gonna go to the reward store. And how much is... Oh, okay. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Moodlet Solver instantly removes all negative moodlets from your sim. 750. Get the promotion. I cannot do that. Can I just re-roll it? Yes. Buy an object worth 500 simoleons. Yes, I'm gonna buy it. Right now. <gasps> when is it gonna end? I cannot go to build mode during an event. Do I have to go to build mode? I have to go to build mode. Okay, give me another one. Re-roll it. Buy an object worth 100 simoleons. Do I look like a fucking joke? But I'm just gonna stick it in. Stick it in? <laughs> I'm just gonna stick it because uh, we'll reroll. Become disliked by Tom. Perform me and socials. Yeah, go away, please. No one wants you here. Go away. Anyway, travel to a library. It will give us 25 simoleons. Not 25 simoleons, but like 25 in aspiration points. So I'm gonna do it. This is a library and it did not give me anything. Yeah, travel to the library. And I'm freaking tired. I want this promotion so bad already. Where is it? Moodlet Solver. Let's get it and drink it after. I think I'm gonna get her the Night Owl trait next because she's always studying at night. Okay, maybe these upgrades that are placed in this library would be helpful. Maybe, 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 or let's hope because we've got six hours left before the next class. I mean, would it be alright if she would be late for her next class? She's at 44%. Girl, you can do it. Holy fuck, almost there, almost there, almost there. If she can do this before 8 a.m., I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna sob. I'm gonna kneel on the floor and cry out my heart. 7, <laughs> 7 a.m. 
It's seven in the morning. Go Abby. Go Abby. Go Abby. Go Abby. Go Abby. I swear, Abby. 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 You can do it, Abby. You can do it, Abby. Abby, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Wait, we can actually do it. Ninety nine percent, and we have about like ten minutes to go back home. I think. Hold on. One hundred. <laughs> I would like to thank the academy. That stupid landlord did not do anything about that stupid electrical failure too. He's gonna reimburse me for this shit. Like, anyway, we are gonna go to school. We are gonna go to med school right now. No, you're not gonna talk with Narong. Girl, you're gonna go to school. She saw her crush and wanted to bolt. I worked too hard to get you here. Go work hard. Oh, hey, I just saw you here, but we should totally go to the Spice Festival together, did she? She's finally, I mean, she's finally a pre-clinical med student Four And one more step And she can finally be paid Be a paid intern Is what I meant to say And we also saw him So this is like, good thing But all we gotta do is reach level 6 of the research and debate skill And also reach level 6 of the handiness skill So yeah, this is a really good day for us We invited him and he disappeared and it's because she doesn't know this. She doesn't know this. She doesn't know he's an asshole. Um, yeah. So much red flag from this guy. Wait, it's not even covered. So, but she has her back against them. That's why she cannot see. What the f- Oh my god. <laughs> red flag. So, while she gathers this stuff, she's like waiting for him. And she doesn't know he's engaging in that kind of stuff. We were gonna do this together. She was gonna grab some serving for him. Anyway, let's just select everything and sell them. And I remember now <laughs> that she is vegetarian. Nothing in here is vegetarian safe, except for the samosas. So let's grab the serving. Mmm, yeah, nothing for the vegetarian. I wonder if like the fire curry is vegetarian. It is vegetarian safe. There's also this thing. Ah, that's so nice of them to cook. Guys, they're not even done. <laughs> they're not even done. And it looks like Abigail is not used to eating spicy food like samosa. That's very Filipino of her. I don't know what people tell you, but um, actually, Filipino have low spice tolerance compared to our Southeast Asian neighbors. It's because our food is kind of like more on the salty, sour side sweet sour salty side or i don't know maybe it varies look at him running to her i don't really think that she sees the red flags but she's just very tired and also it seems like he's um drenched i don't think that that's the rain at all no but she's uh, blind to it of course she is see he's like i just went to the washroom liar and damn, tedious conversations. Sims don't like hearing the same thing over and over. Try chatting about something different. Ooh, he is just not into you. Oh no. Yeah, I feel really sorry for her. Anyways, I thank you guys. I'm just gonna be ending off this episode right here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.